Hello everyone, welcome to our great ones, Smith's Love number three and okay, I mean we can probably drag it a bit longer but really no point. I mean uh, I think that looking at Smith's Love before playing the world championship was one video, then looking at his three world championships, you know, like playing many many games with Botvinnik in 1954, seven, eight is one thing and then, well, a career that another 50 years of chess but well we will just look at some some nice games here and there nothing really more dramatic but i mean okay smyslov won the interzonal in 1964 in a very uh, impressive uh, score maybe his best result after uh, you know uh, losing the world championship title maybe the actual best result is the incredible stuff in the candidates in the 82-85 cycle. Uh, he, qu- he qualified for the candidates and then beating Ribley and Hubner, uh, only losing in the final to a young player named Gary Kasparov. But still, getting to the final of the candidates in 1984, where his first world championship was in the 1948 tournament, right? Just, you know, switching the digits. I mean, Totally crazy. I mean, it's not being in the candidates 40 years after. It's almost playing a world championship match within four decades. Anyway, we will look at some some games there. Before, let's start in 1959 in the candidates tournament in Bled. Uh, it's game against Bobby Fischer. Um, okay, you know, Smyslov was pretty much world champion just a year before that. And actually, in the match against Fischer, four games. I mean, they, not the match, like they played four games each other. He actually lost two and a half, one and a half. I think pretty much the generation that came at that time. Tal won this tournament with huge score. And then, okay, Fischer uh, got to the, uh, you know, arena. Uh, Spassky became, you know, uh, really strong. I mean, all, those are all the young players. And Petrosian was the one that won the World Championship, of course, Tal, oh man, how could I forgot? So basically, Smyslov really never made it back to the absolute elite, but he stayed a really strong, you know, 2,600 Grandmasters through most of the uh, late 70s, early 80s. At that time, you know, you could go to the supermarket with a 26, 26 plus rating. Uh, it was top 10, top 15 in the world uh, around that time. Well, okay, I, I want to see quite a few games, uh, not too deep. Let's start with his game against Fischer in the candidates in 1959. And it was actually a game that, you know, he played, started from Sicilian, one of those Kanta, Mano variation usually with E6, but very quickly they transposed into a Schwenningen version, Bishop C4, the Sozin was for a long time Fischer favorite line. Okay, this I, I think that this specific line is quite quite pleasant for Black. Okay, uh, E five was played by Grishuk in a blitz. I, I believe it's the Blitz World Championship in 2015 against Kazim Danov. But okay, I, I just think it's it's a bit not that great. I mean, the game followed follow this way bishop to b7 bishop g5 and okay if take on e4 take take on e7 and f6 and okay basically white is just having nice access to d5 of course i mean b4 makes much more sense and okay anand lost to ivanchuk in linares now playing e5 bishop b7 that's completely different story and looks quite pretty. And, okay, Kazim Danov played this also against Bruzun in, you know, same uh, Berlin 2015 uh, Blitz Rapid World Championship. That game was a draw. Okay, so B4 is much more, to my taste, precise than E5. Knight E2. Okay, but 